Did you know that the sum function can be used to sum values based on single or multiple conditions? Yes, you heard right. The sum function works just like the sum if function. In this video, you will learn how powerful the sum function is and how to use it as an alternative to sum if. Let's look at some examples. Please subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you. This is a donor list showing the amount contributed category and method of payment. I'll start with the sum if function. The goal is to add all the values relating to the selected category. Sum if. The category range is B4 to B17. Criteria is individual in F4. Sum range is D4 to D17. Now close the bracket and enter. Easy peasy. Next is the sum function. Sum. You have to start with the sum range and that is D4 to D17. Now you have to use the multiplication operator to test the criteria. I'll explain the logic shortly. Open a bracket, select the criteria range equal to the criteria. Close the bracket for the condition and close for the sum function. Now, if your Excel version is 2021 or 365, you can press enter. Earlier versions, we have to press control shift and enter for this to work. Now let's see how it works. Press F2 for edit mode. I'll highlight the logical statement and press F9. Excel has evaluated each row and returned true where it matches individual. And multiplying this with the sum range changes true to 1 and false to 0. That way, only true values will be added. Now, if we change the criteria, you see that it works. I'll use the formula text function to display the formulas. Cool. This example would test multiple conditions in different columns using the sum ifs function and sum function. Sum ifs, unlike the sum if function, starts with the sum range and allows you to test multiple criteria. So the sum range here is D4 to D17. Criteria range one is category B4 to B17. And criteria is individual. Criteria range two is method and the second criteria is cash close the bracket and enter now let's see if the sum function can handle this sum just like we saw earlier start with the sum range d4 to d17 now you have to use the multiplication operator to test both criteria open a bracket select criteria range one equal to the criteria close the bracket so you need to multiply again open a bracket select criteria range 2 equal to criteria 2 close the bracket for the condition and close for the sum function and enter i'll use the formula text function to display the formulas and now you can see that it actually follows the same logic for multiple conditions in the same column, sum if and sum ifs functions work the same way. So I'll only use the sum if function to solve this example. Let's take a look. Sum if. The criteria range is B4 to B17. I want to add the values for individual or private. So I'll select both as the criteria and the sum range is D4 to D17. This is an array formula and it will return multiple results. Close the bracket and enter. You can check out my tutorial on array formulas to learn the basics of array formulas in Excel. The link is in the card above. The next step is to wrap the sum if function with the sum function so it returns a single result. If your Excel version is 2019 and earlier, you need to press Ctrl Shift and Enter for this to work. An alternative though is to use the sum product function. 
if you don't like the control shift and enter method. Now let's see how the sum function will handle this. Sum. Start with the sum range D4 to D17 multiplied by uh, open a bracket select the criteria range equal to the criteria. Now the criteria is both individual and private okay so I'll select both close the bracket and close the sum function and enter. The formula returned an NA error. We need to evaluate the formula okay so press F2 for edit mode. I like the logical statement and press F9. Excel has evaluated each row and returned true for only the first match of both criteria. Do you know why? It's because the criteria are in a column. The sum function will only work if the criteria is on a row. So I'll place the criteria on a row and adjust the formula. Fantastic. It works now. You can evaluate the criteria to check. Press F9 to convert it into array constant. Rows are separated by commas and columns semicolon. So you can see it's only when it's a comma that the sum function is only able to test. So when you need to insert your criteria as array constants, you have to bear that in mind, okay? Now let's test if it works. Cool. I'll use the formula text function to display the formulas. Fantastic. Now this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Please click the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Please subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you.